Hey everybody, it's John from We Buy Any Motor Caravan and today I'm chilling out with my GT. It's the Deathless Globus GT006 and the GTT006. Let me show you around a little bit more of the spec of this van. Now the GT version does mean it's got the GT spec. So you've got your lovely front red splitter just down at the bottom. With it being the GT spec, you do get the additional black alloys. And again, I'm gonna say it, GT spec, you've got the GT racing stripes all the way down the sign. And take a little bit of note on the GT graphics just at the back. It just makes this motorhome pop. So for me, this is one of the best looking vans on the market with it being the GT spec. Now, as we come through, you've got the usual refinements. You've got your full size awning up at the top. You do have your electric step, your habitation door on the driver's side. Um, now you will notice the air vent for the fridge freezer. It is a 149 litre fridge freezer in this one. So loads of wine space and beer space. Now, as we come through to the back, you've got a massive garage. And what do you do in a garage? You basically store stuff in there. But here we go on this one. Nice big garage space. For this, it has got your cushions in there, but you could easily fit bikes. You could easily fit a little moped if you wanted to. So really spacious bike area. As we come through to the back, again, GT spec. It's a nice looking back end. You've got your reverse camera up at the top. Um, you have got your nice sort of driving lights. They're not LED, they're just standard, but this is a 2019 version. Coming around to the near side part of the van now, you can't see it, or you might be able to see it, but it has got a self-seeking satellite dish on the top of this one. You'll notice the roof rails as well. I don't know whether they're aesthetically pleasing or actually they serve a purpose, but there's no ladder, so that tells a story. Double-sided garage, and you've seen it from the other side, moving your way through to your LPG system on this one. Also your toilet, as you know, is on your near side. And again, what do you guys think? Because I think this van is styled very, very well. As I said, it's one of my favorites. So that's the outside. Let's have a brief look inside. Now, as you come into this, you will notice that you do have the leather up front with the uh, cloth insets as well. And um, we'll talk about the front of the cabin in a little while, but what I do want to show you is this massive table. So this is classed as a three berth. Okay, small child, small grandma or someone small at the front. It is four belts, okay, and you do have this lovely big dining area with the table that actually pulls out to create more room. So again, I do love this motorhome with a lot of motorhomes, but for me, it's very, very clean. The white gloss and the silver chrome is really, really great. You've got all your points, you've got your USB points, you've got your LED lighting, you've got your cab curtains and your nets and your blinds. Um, some really clever functions in the kitchen area. Now, as we lift this, you've got a three burner hob. You have got a full sink, okay? And you have got no chopping space. So uh, what, the, what have they done for this? This little piece down here, pop. Moves up, locks in place. So you've got your extra chopping space on this left-hand side. So for me, that is a really good feature, okay? Nice and easy, goes all the way back in and locks in place. Now you have got loads of storage as well as your oven. You've got lots of little tricks down here, lots of little storage and a cutlery drawer that's, uh, that's massive. Let's move through to the back because I think we've done enough on this little area in the middle. So like I said, this is classed as the three berth, but the main sleeping area is up at the back here. So you've got your two singles. If you need to get out in the middle of the night to go to the loo, you're not crossing over each other. But if you do want an extra big bit of space, you have got the cushions which infill into here to make a really big space. Now we have got the storage underneath, loads of storage, left, right, center, you've got the storage, but we've also got this little bit here. Look at that. Maybe that could be a little wine cooler or a secret cupboard, put a safe in there, who knows? Um, again, they've followed the accents of the white and chrome into the back. You've got all your points, you've got all your lights, you've got all your LEDs, loads and loads of storage. Um, it has got a nice privacy door, which is solid as you open it. Um, generally, yeah, I really like this sort of layout. A bit small for me, I'm quite wide, but I'm short, but it is a little bit tight for me. But you know what? I love it. It's a really good sleeping area. So moving into the bathroom area. Now, this is a really fair sized bathroom. Um, you've got a lovely sort of shower just on your left-hand side and you've got your separate toilet and sink. 
Um, and it's surprising how much room is actually in this. So yeah, I'm more than happy with that, to be honest with you. Um, you've got LED lighting, you've got your Thetford toilet, you've got all the refinements that you would want. You've even got little hooks for your dressing gown. Love that. So I don't know whether they've actually followed the GT spec so much into the cab. Um, we might talk about that in a minute, but it has got the Zenex sat nav and media system. It has got your climate control. This particular model is the 2.3 litre 130 manual six speed box. They do do the 180 brake horsepower in the automatic box, as you quite know, and the new ones go onto the nine speed auto as well. Um, yeah, multifunctional steering wheel, cruise control you've got electric mirrors electric windows you've got blinds so it's got everything that you would expect but there's no wow factor for it being gt in the front so you know that i love this globus um pros and cons for me so let's start on the cons to begin with i wish that it had a little bit more kitchen area so they've got a lot of storage you've got a big garage you've got loads of up storage you've got loads of low storage 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 for me, I'd like a bigger kitchen so that I can actually entertain a few people in this lovely entertainment area. So that is a real negative for me. Um, again, it's a little bit tight in space. So you've sacrificed your space for the big bathroom. I get it. But for me, um, I would like sort of a little bit more mid, mid range space. Now on the plus side, again, GT spec. I love the styling, what they've done. I like the fact that you've got all this air. You've got this sort of half panoramic roof. And it's very, very light and airy. So a real plus point for me on that. I mean, look, you guys, let us know what you like about this video. If my comments are no good for you and you think that you've got a better sort of comments to add, come back at us. We love it. So this is the latest review of the 2019 Deathless Globus GTT 006. If you've liked this video and you want to see more, just subscribe. See you later.